Welcome to Front Runner Motorsport. Hello, Merry Christmas and welcome back to One Race Wonders. Today we are looking at the Italian motorcycle racer Nello Pagani, who took part in the fourth ever round of the Formula One World Championship and nothing else. Hence why he is a One Race Wonder. But let's go back further and look at the career of Nello Pagani. This man began his racing career in 1928 with the motorcycles. But it would be 20 years before the man became a legend in said motorcycles, winning the first ever 125cc Motorcycle World Championship riding a Mondial, and finishing runner-up to Les Graham in the 500cc class. But we are not here to talk about bike racing. How did Nello Pagani become a one-race wonder? Well, his career in car racing was equally impressive, winning his third ever race, the 1947 Po Grand Prix, in a Maserati 4CL despite only qualifying 8th. Winning the race again in 1948 after leader Raymond Sommer clipped a curb on the last lap, these would be his only wins in Grand Prix racing, but a few good performances earned him a race in the newly formed World Championship at the 4th round in Switzerland at the Bremgarten track. Replacing the injured Jose Froilan Gonzalez, racing under the Scuderia Achillivazi team, named after the famous pre-war racing driver who actually died at the Bremgarten track two years previously, after his Alfa Romeo 158 crashed on the wet track, flipped and crushed Vazi to death. Early racing was really brutal. So what happened to Pagani at the 1950 Swiss Grand Prix? Was it a total failure? Well, he qualified 15th of 18 drivers on the grid, but he managed to finish just a couple of places outside of the points in 7th. Three laps of eventual winner and first ever Formula 1 world champion Nino Farina in his Alfa Romeo who won what was an Alfa Romeo demonstration. Pagani would only compete in one more Grand Prix race, the non-championship round at Albi, France, which he would finish in 6th place. He'd compete in a few more motorcycle races for Galera and MV Augusta, as well as taking part in sports car races, notably coming second in the 1952 Mille Maglia. In an Oscar, think Maserati brothers but not Maserati. He'd retire for good in 1955 and lived to the ripe old age of 92 before passing away in Bresso, Italy. So ends the story of Nello Pagani a master of racing who was at the end of his career when Grand Prix racing became a more organised event. Otherwise, he could have been a major player in the early days of Formula 1 in his Maserati. Thank you for watching. Merry Christmas. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe for more motorsport content and more One Race Wonders before motorsport begins again in January.